Hello once again, this is Jerry. On this session, we're going to conclude what we have not finished from the last session. This tutorial will alter a page. This example will show some tips on how to drop the people in the database and let us From previous example, we only have these particular columns on our table employee. But what is listed from our ERD is we need to include also a column for hire date and separation date. And this would be our syntax in adding a column on a table. We need to issue an alter command. This would be the statement that we need to issue in order to add hire date and separation date. We need to issue an reorg table command after issuing an alter command. Let us now display the current structure of our table. So two columns were added on employee table. Next is we update. If we want changes on our table and you need to update some records, we use the update statement. And this would be the syntax in updating our column. Set specifies which column to update and assign it with a new value after the equal sign. We use WHERE clause as a filter condition when updating rows. On our example, employee number column with its corresponding data value will be, will be used to select which row to update. We will now update our row's hire date with an update command. Employee Don King did not stay with the company. Update his separation date with the following statement. Don King is 005. Let us now display the content of our table. And this is the current content of our table. Please do not forget to use where clause on your condition. 
or it will update all rows with the value set. How about if we're going to delete some rows on our table? So this would be the syntax on how to delete rows from a table. Same with update statement, you need to set a condition. Here we're going to use also the word clause. Considering we delete all rows with the higher date of June 30, 2010. So we issue this command. Let us check our table. All those higher date with a 6302010 date are deleted. Same with update statement. If you fail to include where clause, the entire rows of the table will be deleted. If you need to wipe out the database, the table, or you need to drop a column, you use the drop this will be the syntax in dropping databases, dropping tables, or dropping columns. Take note. Issue drop statement is irreversible, so be careful in using it. Hi, Jerry here. Thanks for watching. If you like to see the script of the video presented, please click the link below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Buy the book for more challenging exercises with solutions. Visit our Facebook and Twitter account. Bye!